guys, I think my head might be cut off here. As you can see, as I fix this, um, as you can see from the title, uh, I will be getting ready for another YouTube video. Uh, but I will be getting ready with a specific brand of product. And the name of that product, and I'm sure you've heard it before, it is Revolution Makeup or Makeup Revolution London. So yeah, so I have a few products here. And this is, I guess you can consider this kind of like a Target makeup haul, but all of these products are one brand only and Makeup Revolution and they were bought from Target. So I'll be reading you the product name as I'm using it and how much it costs. So I do, I only got like three, how many, one, two, three. I got four products here that I'm gonna use. I wouldn't exactly call it a full face maybe let's see no i do not have a lip product so uh, let's go ahead and get started the first product that i am going to put on my face is by makeup revolution of course that is the liquid powder pore blurring makeup serum i'm not sure if you guys have heard of this before i have not i don't use the makeup revolution brand too much i do have a few things from them uh here in my stash but i don't use I, I don't go for them all the time um so this one is called is the, 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 the. let's see do they have a price on this one it's it says pink clay and rose pink clay and rose i'm not sure if that's a what that's referring to i guess it's the ingredients i really let's see if i can make this out Wow, okay. So it's kind of hard to make out. I'm guessing this is either $6.99 or $8.99. So let's go ahead and take it out of the package. Of course, it's got little tape on it, uh, which is good in the grocery store. This says makeup priming serum that dries down to a powdered effect. Um, supports skin hydration whilst helping to mattify and blur pores so this is going to be interesting let me go cut the seal righty i've managed to open it let's take it out uh this is what it looks like once it is out this is uh, 19 milliliters or 0.64 fluid ounces and it is in a serum type packaging so let's go ahead and put a few drops of that i do not have any uh, makeup on my face um, just washed my face this morning and put a little skincare. It looks like this stuff might be pink. I don't know. I'm shaking it up. It's not. Something is stuck here. I tried to stick something down into the hole. Needless to say, uh, I broke half of it. So let's see if it will get out the actual serum for me if i try this time if not i can just pour it in my hands and use this as a, a simple um top for it so let's put this out on my skin i can see where it's can powder up in the um where it can powder up you see that at the end so it does go on uh, as a serum and it will powder up as it dries I'm guessing this is a weird it dries quickly of the I have a ceiling fan on but it dries quickly and I do have to be careful touching the end of the, uh, I don't know if you call that a syringe, but touching the end of that with my face, uh, my, um, touching that to my face because it is, it is broken off and it could cut my face. So I'm looking for my mirror. Here it is. Let's see what this is looking like up close. can't really see if it's doing anything um let's get closer here I 
I'm gonna put a little bit more onto my hands here. There we go. Got some on the floor. So I can't really um, tell if it's, I'm sorry, I have it <laughs> in between here. Can't really tell if it's blurring anything. I do have a pimple here. So I'm, I can't really tell. I can't tell right now. Let me look again. Maybe I'll see the difference once I um, put the, I, I do have a skin tint, not a uh, foundation, but a skin tint by them. And that will be the next product I pull out. So let me clear this off the floor. All right, and I'm gonna close this bottle to the serum. But I can see where it's looking like powder uh, just by looking at the dropper. Um, it started drying up as powder. That's interesting. It does make my skin feel smooth here as if I have a finely milled powder on my face. So it feels good to the touch. So let's go ahead and now take out the serum. The, the name of the serum is called Super Dewy Skin Tint. It's not a serum, I'm sorry. It's a tinted moisturizer. I did get the color caramel. There was a darker shade. It looked like they could have uh, went on ahead and did something in between the darker shade in this one. But this is caramel and the darkest one I saw in my gross, um, target was called Mocha. The Mocha, I was torn between both, but I think Mocha would have been a little bit too dark and I figured since this was a skin tint, uh, it, it will sheer out so it won't look as light if it does if this does appear, appear tad light a tad light on my skin so this is also sealed which i like so i'm going to go ahead and take the seal the plastic off here you can just pull it right down um so we're going to do that and i was shaking it up and I think you saw the applicators here. I don't know how, how you guys would see this. All right, and we're gonna start, I'm gonna apply this with my fingers. I do have my mirror here and I am gonna apply this with my fingers on my right hand. We're gonna pump it out. I feel something coming. It's going to take a while. Let me get this pumped out just a second. All right, I got a little bit pumped out and I am going to place it on my face. I'm going to scoot in a little bit for you guys. If this does the job, I should not need any, um, I should not need any um, concealer. Sometimes skin tints do a good enough job to where I don't need concealer. It's looking a tad orangish red. I'm thinking maybe I should use a beauty blender. It has, I mean, a sponge because this has more coverage than I thought. Um, and it's thicker than a, serum, a serum type skin tint. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use my fingers. I think I'm gonna go wet a beauty blender and this is drying down pretty fast. Be right back.
All right, guys, I don't know if it's focusing good enough on me or not, but I mean, it's definitely got some coverage there because I had a dark shadow here and you can kind of kind of see that it's been covered up just a little. Um, you can still kind of see the darkness, the dark shadow a little bit under my eyes, but for a skin tint, it's done a good job in taking away most of that darkness, uh, that shadow. So as I blended this, I definitely could not have gone any darker. Um, this is not looking so much darker as red a little redder than my neck just a little bit redder than my neck so i think the primer um that i put on the priming serum i think it did do a good job of blurring out what you could see would be pores here uh, you do not see it. Uh, I don't have rather large pores anyway, uh, but to me, this is a good finish for a skin tint. Um, yeah, I think it's a good finish. And I believe that that um, liquid to powder primer that I put on would be good just by itself on the days I did not want to wear makeup. So next, we're going to do eyeshadow. And I'll show you guys what I got in the way of eyeshadow from Makeup Revolution London. So this palette, the name of it is called Revolution, Makeup Revolution London Forever Dynamic Eternal Palette. And it is in, it's sealed up. Let's go ahead and look at what these colors look like. I love this packaging. It's simple but cute. Very. I did not want to get a big palette. I have a lot of big palettes. Didn't need another big palette. This has a mirror, and I love the way this looks for a small palette. These are the colors. Let's go ahead and swatch a few. Oh, wow. Uh, I dug in that and absolutely ruined, ruined this, right, this one right here. Very soft glitter. Very soft glitter. Wow. Let's try to pat it back. I almost want to use it on my eyes for the sake of using it because I dug into it. <laughs> oh, the, the, there's another color in here. I'm doing the shimmers mostly right now because of course we all think those are the most interesting. These are nice and they go on great, but that shimmer was so, so soft. Ugh. I, I was a little heavy handed about it, a tad heavy handed. All right, and let me go rinse my fingers off because I'm putting all of them on this wrist or this arm. Be right back. All righty, guys. So let's finish up. I love these gold colors. They're nice and pretty. And I'm trying my best to swatch these really well. And then I'll show you the shimmers and then I'll show you the mattes. So basically, let's bring it on in. And I'm tempted to put that real glittery one on, but I will not. Let's see how 
close can I get? So the, these are the colors. Let's see if it'll focus up close. Mm, no. So these are the colors. They're very pretty. I think I'm probably going to go, I almost want to put this one on, but I don't know. Hmm. I am going to go with this one. My next box that I'm going to unbox is, is Boxy Charm, and I'll have whatever makeup I'm um, using today will go on my face for the Boxy Charm. So. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get a few brushes. And these are the two mattes. This one I will be putting on my face uh, for the base shade. have my eyes done I am now going to take out the last item that I have in here for trying on and that is the revolution um, let's see powder blush I decided to get a powder blush I really did like this color a lot for my skin tone um, so I know that the cream blushes are all the rage now but Sometimes you don't want to fool with the cream blush uh, and you just want to pop that powder on uh, real quick. And I really do like this color. Let's see if it looks good on my uh, cheeks and my tone, skin tone. So let's go ahead. I haven't told you how much uh, everything is. You saw how I was rather confused by the receipt in the beginning, and it seems I lost the receipt. So I think you guys, I was showing how much everything was as I was pulling it out. So yeah, we will go, you'll see that uh, right here somewhere. So I'm not gonna freak out about it. Yeah, I kinda stopped worrying about the receipt so much as I started putting things on. So let's go ahead and put this nice, I don't know if it's a deep color, I'll tell you what the name of it is. The name of this one is Blusher Reloaded Rose Kiss. I believe it's just Rose Kiss. So let's go ahead and, well, this is a multitask brush that I'm using by 
uh, real techniques. It's going on nicely. It's not I'm not seeing as much color as I thought I would, but it's just enough to blush my cheeks so I don't look like a clown. Sometimes I like to put a little blush, if the blush is deep enough, on my nose and my forehead to kind of make, make it look a little bronze make it look a little bronze so let's go ahead and look up look at this closely um, yeah you can see it here and here I'm not gonna put any um, I'm just gonna use this so I can swipe up I'm not gonna use any highlighter no highlighter this time around so guys this is my face i'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with some Caudalie. it is uh Oude beauty beauty elixir smoothing glowing complexion i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on and then i do have some lipstick that is not uh, makeup revolution so yeah And I'm going to put, this is from Walmart. And guys, I haven't, this is a nude color. It is by, uh, it's called Bedoya Beauty. And it is a very cute, let me take it out of the package, Prism Lipstick. I think I might have did an unboxing of this a long time. <laughs> Sorry, a long time ago, isn't it? Over the top. It's very much over the top. But it's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful nude. So let me put this on. See that? So let's put it on my lips here. And what I am going to do is end up putting um, a lip gloss on with this. Because, I mean, it is nude, but at the same time, it's... It's a lighter nude, so I always put something else on it or over it. don't know if I like this color. Alright guys, this is the final look uh, with all of the Makeup Revolution products I had. Um, let me know your thoughts on your thoughts on the color on makeup revolution in general uh, i am not as familiar with them as i am with other products um, so i do like the products that i have on my face um, nothing was anything like a wow for me um, i don't know I think I think that the skin tint looks good um, but I do have other skin tints as well 
that would give me the same type of look, if not better. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts uh, on this look with Makeup Revolution. And I will see you. Give it a like if you like it. Uh, give me questions down below if you have questions about this uh, makeup line. Um, I don't know too much about it, but I can get the answers for you. But anyway, yeah, so give it a like, subscribe if you're new here, and BoxyCharm should be next.